Hello and welcome to Total Course Fishing TV. I'm joined today by Ian Day from Sonu Baits. Now, I do a lot of pace fishing in the summer, I don't know about you, but one of the things about paste is that it is very, very soft, which is good, but you can't fish it on a waggler, and you can't really fish it if you wanted to go shallow on a pole or cast it very far on a feeder. Um, Sonu Baits have introduced three pastes just now that uh, will certainly put an end to all of that. So, Ian, if you just talk me through them. So it's exactly that, as you said. We wanted to make uh, paste fishing easy for people, um, and part of the problem that they'd had is it was coming off. You're never, never hundred percent sure whether it's still there as a, you know, as a bait or whether it's fallen off, and you're just wasting your time fishing. So we looked into it, and um, basically we, we've come up with this bait, which is perfect on a pole, as you say, but you can throw it out on a waggler at cruising fish. I mean, you're calling it fibre paste, aren't you? That's that that right, presumably yeah. gives you an indication of, of it's, its texture. It's a very, very fibrous texture. Let's take a look um, at it. So, simply by hooking it, you just rip a piece out like that. Um, and with all the raggedy edges that's on it, we actually, the, the lads that are using it actually leave those on there because when it goes in water, little bits come off, so enticing the fish to feed. Can you show that to us? Certainly, that, that yeah. sounds really interesting. You simply hook it through the bit that you've pinched, as you would do any normal bait, yeah. you no know, moulding it round or anything yeah. like that. Right, right. And that is obviously a bait which can be presented yeah. very easily, you know. It's not going to come off. No, off no. The, the, the fibrous it texture really helps it, it stay it on. Yeah, yeah, I can see Once that. it goes in water, it's quite light and can you see the like the raggedy edges falling off I can, as it's I can, sat there? I can. Well that will just entice fish to feed, but it's it's soft enough so as the, the hook will just pull straight through it, it actually expands slightly in water. So it makes it even softer once it's been in the water. That I can immediately see applications there for shallow fishing absolutely, on the pole. Absolutely. For instance, and that would be fantastic. I mean they're, they're, they're gonna attract fish up to the paste, aren't they? Yeah. And as far as we're, we're, we're concerned, it's, it's suitable for, for waggler fishing, casting l long ranges on waggler, um, feeder fishing, which again, paste fishing has been very, very difficult to do on a feeder. You've you had to use things like springs and anything Absolutely. to help it stay out, which is a bit of a nightmare to be honest. You just need a, a, a hook and some line. So you, can, you, you, you can cast that on a feeder directly on a hook? Yeah. That, yeah, that's you, that's really good. See. No, you know. And it's been field tested by people like Andy Finley. Yeah, I know. Finn was using it last last year uh, through the summer and uh, had some fantastic results on it, uh, especially casting at cruising fish. It's just a way of presenting a paste bait that's never been available before. Well, we know carp in particular love paste, and this 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 adds a, a whole new dimension, as I say. Uh, comes in, in three colours. Three colours, yeah: a natural pellet colour, a red, and a green. So you can adapt it to the venue Absolutely. or to, to, to what the fish want. Yep. Um, is it in the shops? It's just been launched to the shops now and it's three ninety nine a pot. Three ninety nine a pot. Well, I'll certainly be using this this summer and hopefully it'll add a few more fish to my catches. There you go.